Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem nineteen in chapter eleven. Chapter eleven is about angular momentum. We can see we have a merry-go-round turntable, and then a person. The mass is given. The radius of merry-go-round is given, and just work at the edge of this turntable, right? And then the momentum of ratio for this turntable is given. Now we need to find the turntable's、uh, angular velocity as a final. So how can we do that? First one, we consider the speed the person began running as the turntable is given. It is four meter per second. Now we can see it tell us this、uh, velocity four meter per second is the person to relatively to the turntable. Agree? So. If we consider this system, we can see the velocity the person to the ground is the relative velocity should be the velocity person to the ground equal to velocity person to the table plus the velocity turbo to the ground. Agree? Yes. So we get this function. The velocity person to the ground we call v p equal to v. This one is given. Is velocity the person to the turntable plus the velocity. Turn table to the ground. We call it v t, right? It's there. Now we can consider this system. No external force acting. That means the angular momentum is conserved. So the initial angular momentum is zero because the person and the turn table is stationary. And finally, the angular momentum should include two parts: the turn table and the person, right? So we have i t omega t plus i p omega p. Now we can see. In this function, the i t is given, and the omega t we need to find unknown. We need to find, and the i p we don't know, but omega p we can get right. So now we can see i p is the person is there. So the mass times the r square, right? Mass times r square, and omega p for this person is angular velocity for the person. Just use v p divided by r. And then VP is there, so V plus VT divided by R. Now we look at there. We can use V divided by R plus this one. VT divided by R is omega t. Agree? Omega t. Now we input the omega p and i p inside. We get a function look like that. Equation look like this one. And simplify it. We get the answer look like this one, right? And then solve the function. We get the omega t in this function. Input the known quantities. We get the final answer there. The negative side tell us the direction for the merry-go-round is offside with the person because this angular momentum is conserved. Thank you.